Hello, my name is Johan Falk. I'm a math and physics teacher in Stockholm, Sweden, and this is a video where I'm going to show you how to use spreadsheet actions to create folders for students and also to place these folders in one big class folder, something like that. To do this, you will need the uh, file management plugin. If you go to the instructions sheet and follow the link to GitHub, you'll end up here. And you go into the file management folder and get the file management plugin. You get all this code into your uh, code environment for, for this uh, spreadsheet, which I have already done. It's called file management here. I create a new file, as explained in the how to install new plugins video. So before running this, I'm going to show you uh, how you can use it uh, and use some settings to create folders. I have here uh, four effective students and I'm going to uh, create a new folder. Let's actually delete all these. Uh, student folder. I'll call it student folder. It's probably good. Um, and before creating folders, I just need to set the name for the the name pattern for the new folders. I'm going to call this uh, folder for and then percent two percent. This is a number of options for file management, and down here we have file name, name pattern. It's not completely obvious that you should use this when creating folders, but you should. Folder for percent two. Percent two will be exchanged for whatever it is is in column two. In this case, the name of the student. And that's basically it. Let's actually save here as well. Save. And I go into spreadsheet actions, bulk actions, and create folders. Bam, 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 bam. I should say, uh, well, it's writing folder names and stuff over here. Because I never changed the uh, output column for these. Okay, that's fine. But now I have folders for John Doe, for Alice, for Bob, and for Johan. And here are the IDs. I'm actually going to slag. Well, Move these over here because I want them here eventually. Okay, so now I have four uh, new folders, but I want them all in one big main folder, my temporary folder here in Google Drive. To do this, you'll need the ID for this folder, which is find, found as usual in the URL of the folder. And if we look at it here, the URL, we have something that is long and tricky. And if it's long and tricky, it's probably the ID for the folder. We copy this, copy uh, there, and then I'm just going to have to find the place to paste this in my settings, in my options, to be able to move folders to a new folder. Let's see, source folder ID column, this is used when copying or moving stuff, the source folder is in column 4. This is 4. Okay, so move the folder found in column 4 to, uh, there should be some target folder, yes, target folder ID. If I want to use a separate folder, target folder for each student, I can uh, specify the column ID containing the ID uh, of the folder, but I don't want to do that. I just want to move everything into the same folder, and then I'm going to use this fallback, ID fallback. All right. Save. It's kind of tricky doing this um, changing options manually, and that's because the user interface in Google Scripts has been has become much more difficult to manage. So we're doing this in the code right now. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I should be able to run spreadsheet actions, a bulk action, um, move folders to folder, run for all my students. All of them are selected here. Tick 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 tick. Processing number two, number three, number four, and uh, spreadsheet actions fetches this folder and moves it into my target folder. Now in the temporary folder, if I reload, we should have four folders here. And it works. That's kind of nice. And if you have this synced with your desktop, you'll have four new folders to work with right in your finder. And that's kind of useful as well. Um, okay, that's this video. I'm going to show you something else in the next video, probably
creating a nice folder structure for, for students. See you there. Bye.